We made some progress on the bathroom in the last few days. So we set two bathtubs, we run all the sewer lines to the basement, almost all water lines completed to the basement as well. And the goal for today is to hook up the water and water test all the sewer line and all the water line to make sure there is no leakages and all the connections nice and tight. Because you don't want to close something and then turn the water on. And then surprise, you have to redo it again because you forgot to crimp one fitting or one fitting on the sewer line is not tight enough and one year down the road you have huge orange stain and shit in your ceiling basically but yeah that's what we're gonna do today but here is what we did so yeah the sewer line for one bathroom uh, water lines almost completed for that bathroom as well i'm not a plumber by any means neither my guys so I would highly recommend you to hire a professional plumber for any major plumbing projects if you can afford. On the other side, if you cannot afford it and you know how to use YouTube, your brain and you're willing to try, miracle can happen. That's what we're doing in here. We're pretty sure that shit will flow down the pipe. We've done it before, we've tested before, never had any major problems. Is it up to code? Probably not. Will it work? 100%. 101%. But again, do not cut corners if you're not comfortable or if it can uh, impact something major, something structural, mother nature, your neighbors or your property. So I'm finishing up to run my uh, water lines into the basement. That's what you need to be aware of. If there is any like a debris or wooden chip will end up in your water lines, eventually it will create the problems for some of your water wells or faucets. So whenever you run your PEX pipe through the walls or carry it around and you know that you're gonna use it, plug it because that way whenever you push it through the wall no debris will go inside and you just cut it off whenever you're ready to use it i'm dropping it into the basement that's it now I know for sure that nothing went into that water line and uh, I know for sure that that water line will not create problems for me in the future, right? That's it. Now I'm gonna connect that water line right here and uh, call it a day. So let me show you. It's a crimp tool, it's about 9 or 10 year old tool, still works for me. I use those type of rings. What it does, so basically the ring will go in, we will crimp it, and now it's not going to be that oval and ugly around the pipe and fitting, but you get the idea. It's squeeze it and it creates permanent tight connection, whatever. That's what we cut it with, like $5 tool from Home Depot. So, at this point, we're almost done on the second floor. The only one thing that will be left to do, it's uh, all new wiring and ready for the drywall and tile in the bathrooms. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. YouTube it, educate yourself, try it, start from something small and you will make it happen. Peace.